growing search for energy security has seen the country's biggest gas producer seeking funding from the U.S. Congress. And that means figures with close links to the likes of the U.S. Secretary of State and the U.S. Vice President taking up positions on the board. No doubt in the hope that some family strings can be pulled back in Washington. Gaina Chichikian explains. For some top U.S. officials, Ukraine is not just about politics. It's about business for family and friends. But one connection leads to another, and the business is now finding its way into the U.S. Congress. A week after Vice President Joe Biden's son joined the board of Ukraine's largest gas producer, Burisma, Secretary of State John Kerry's former Senate chief of staff signed on to lobby Congress on behalf of that same Ukrainian energy company. Another gentleman from Team Kerry joined Burisma, Devon Archer, who was once John Kerry's advisor and bundler in his presidential campaign. These people are no strangers to each other. Devon Archer and Joe Biden's son have worked as business partners with John Kerry's son-in-law, Christopher Heinz. Oh, yes, and Burisma, their new employer, is controlled by Nikolai Zlachevsky, a former Ukrainian government minister. All these sons and friends of U.S. officials say they're on their own, that they're disconnected from the decision makers in Washington. But of course, nobody can stop them from benefiting from the policies adopted in the buildings around here. Members of Congress are already writing letters asking to provide U.S. funding for Ukraine's domestic energy production. Here is one of the senators. I think if we are going to be helping them with new technologies, and we should, um, we should have a telescope time frame that we create then for a doubling of natural gas production inside of Ukraine. Uh, and we should set those goals, set benchmarks, and then let's meet them. And to help us make sense of this house of cards, where one connection leads to another, where it's all business and it's all personal, here's Andrew Craig. Andrew. It's not just about lobbying for this one particular firm in Ukraine, right? A U.S. State Department spokesperson told Congress this Tuesday that Ukraine's entire gas supply and production system is corrupt and needs fixing, and the U.S., of course, can help. And one can only wonder what U.S. companies and what individuals would benefit from that fixing. What do you think? Well, we don't have to wonder too long because what we've seen is a scandal here where uh, well-connected uh, relatives and cronies of uh, very influential officials are already on board. And it's quite reminiscent of what happened after Iraq when there were all kinds of conferences on how Americans and American companies could make money out of the situation. Buying influence in Washington is not called corruption. In America, it's called tapping into new opportunities. In Washington, I'm going to check on RT.